Former Speaker Kevin McCarthy joins me now. So Trump goes to the bodega and they're chanting four more years. What does that tell you? It tells you that uh, this is probably going to backfire on the Democrats. I mean, if this was a Hollywood movie, you wouldn't believe the script. Think for one moment. Let, let, let's design a movie. You're president of the United States. Your policies are so bad you can't run on your economic policy, your foreign policy, or your border policy. So let's come up with a plan. Let's try your opponent. But let's take away his First Amendment rights and say, we care about democracy, but we'll give him none. But let's try him, not by a jury of his peers. Let's pick the second best county in the entire nation where you got the most Democratic votes in your last election. And then let's make sure he can't campaign and you still lose as that opponent, President Trump, goes out simply to a bodega and the American public chant. We love Trump four more years. It shows weakness. Stephen A. sees it. Let's listen. To my liberal friends out there, all you're doing is showing that you're scared you can't beat them on the issues and the merits. That's why he keeps saying it's a political campaign against me. Tens of millions of people see what extent the other side is willing to go through just to keep him out of office because they can't beat him on their own merits. Everything you do shows me you can't beat him. It's a damn shame. I mean, it's just like a relationship. You don't like someone who's desperate, do you? You do not. And think about it. Biden tries to campaign because he's concerned about democracy and he's denying democracy. First, he sues to try to make sure Trump can't be on the ticket. Then he goes and tries to put him in court. And every action he has taken, President Trump's numbers have only grown. Why? Because it reminds the American public, you know, under President Trump, we had a secure border. We didn't evacuate five embassies. We didn't collapse in Afghanistan. We didn't have war around the world. Putin never invaded anybody else. This is going to backfire on them simply because the American public's too smart. And that was a great quote that you just heard him talk about. But the part I love is everywhere the president goes, when he's down in Atlanta, you have people running up to him, just hugging him from every walk of life. And it's driving the Democrats crazy. So he'll probably get indicted tomorrow as well. <laughs> right. I mean, these indictments really backfire. And Kevin McCarthy, everybody, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Jesse.